Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing uh, some concepts based on uh, sharp subjected to twisting movement, bending movement, and uh, numericals related to that. First, we will see uh, the concept that is the shaft subject to twisting movement alone. So, in the when the shaft is subject to a twisting movement, or we can call it as a dark only, then the, the diameter of the shaft may be obtained by using the torsion equation. So, what is the torsion equation? Nothing but T by J is equal to T by R, where capital T is nothing but twisting movement acting upon on the shaft, and J is nothing but polar movement of energy of the shaft about the axis of the road. So, uh, this J value, the T value and the R value, we can directly take it from the design data handbook for the different cross section, that is for the solid cross section or for the hollow cross section. Where tau is nothing but torsional shear stress and R is nothing but uh, distance from neutral axis to the outermost fiber and the value can be taken for the R is nothing but T by 2. This is tau, this is T by J equal to tau by R. And uh, based on this, uh, let us uh, discuss a problem. Uh, this problem I have taken from the and author J.B. Kedasa. So, a solid shaft is transmitting uh, 1 megawatt at 240 rpm. Uh, determine the diameter of the shaft if the maximum torque transmitted uh, exceeds the mean torque by 20%. Take the maximum allowable shear stress at uh, 60 megapascal. So, let me write out the given data where uh, power given, uh, uh, the speed given is 200 rpm, power is uh, 20 kilowatts, uh, and uh, the torque uh, shear value is given as uh, 42 megapascals. So we know that uh, let a small d is nothing but diameter of the shaft and from the torque equation let me write down that is t equal to uh, p into 60 divided by 2 pi n. So the power is given as uh, 20 kilowatts, so 20 into 10 power 3 into 60 divided by 2 pi into 200. So from this I will be getting the uh, torque value as uh, 955 into 10 power 3 newton mm. And we also know that the torque transmitted by the shaft T, uh, which is equal to uh, 955 uh, 9, to 10 power 3 newton mm, which is equal to 5 by 60 tau d cube. So in this uh, tau value is known, and even uh, the torque value is known. From this, we can able to find out what is the D value, and the calculated D value is uh, 48.7. So and uh, from uh, since we are talking about the shaft from the chapter 14 from the design data handbook, we can uh, uh, just uh, take the standard value of the diameter. So from the data handbook, I found the standard value of the diameter is 50 mm. Next, we will see the next concept that is the shaft is subject to a bending movement alone. So, when the shaft is subjected to a bending movement only, then the, the maximum stress that is the tensile or the compressor is given by the bending equation. We know that the bending equation is m by i is equal to sigma b by y, uh, where m is nothing but bending movement and i is nothing but movement of energy of cross section area of the shaft about the axis of rotation. And sigma b is nothing but bending stress and y is nothing but distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. So, we know that from a round solid shaft, uh, the moment of inertia is pi by 60 equal to d power 4 and y is equal to d by 2. So, substituting these three values in the above equation, uh, that is m by pi by 64 into d power 4, which is equal to sigma b divided by b by 2, I will be getting m is equal to pi by 32 sigma b into d cube. So, from this equation, the diameter of the solid shaft uh, can be obtained and uh, we know that even for the hollow shaft, uh, the moment of inertia is where the solid shaft diameter I will be uh, can, uh, like uh, diverting into outer diameter minus inner diameter. So, instead of the D4, it will be D, D outer diameter power 4 minus inner diameter power 4 I will be getting up. So, again substituting in these values, finally I will be getting the moment value is equal to pi by 32 into sigma b into d o power cube into 1 minus k power 4 I will be getting up. So, from this equation, the outside diameter of the d o may be obtained. Next, uh, shafts are subject to combined twisting movement and bending movement. Uh, when the shaft is subjected to combined twisting movement and bending movement, then the shaft must be designed on the basis of the two movements uh, simultaneously. So, various theories have been suggested to account for the elastic failure of the materials when they are subject to various types of uh, combined stresses. So, we have uh, two important theories where uh, we can discuss the combination of the twisting movement and the bending movement from the subject point of view. The first one is nothing but maximum shear stress theory. It is also called as a guess theory and which is used for the ductile materials such as the mild steel. And second one is nothing but maximum normal stress theory or the Rankine theory and which is used for the brittle materials such as cast iron. So, first uh, we will see the combination by uh, considering these assumptions let tau is equal to shear stress induced due to the twisting movement and sigma b is equal to the bending stress uh, that is the tensile or compressive induced due to the bending movement and according to the maximum shear stress theory the maximum shear stress in the shaft uh, tau max is equal to 1 by 2 square root of sigma b square plus 4 tau square. I think we are all very uh, 
I'm familiar with this formula because already uh, in the two three uh, two to three modules uh, we have used uh, this uh, maximum shear stress uh, theory formula uh, to find out the maximum shear stress in the shaft. So based on this uh, combination, uh, let us uh, discuss a problem related to this one. And this problem I have taken uh, from the author J B K Das. And uh, let us uh, discuss the question. Uh, a solid circular shaft is subjected to a bending moment of 3000 newton meter and a torque of 10000 newton meter. The shaft is made of uh, 45 C8 dusty, uh, having ultimate tensile stress of uh, 700 mega Pascal and ultimate shear stress of 500 mega Pascal. Assuming a factor of safety as 6, which determines the diameter of the shaft. Okay. First, let me write down the given data where. Uh, they have given the bending moment, so bending moment is m, that is the 3000 newton meter. Uh, so if I want to solve the problem keeping all the data in newton and mm, so that I will be converting this meter into mm, so 3 into 10 power 6 newton mm, torque value is 10,000 into 10 power uh, 3 newton uh, mm, so 10 into 10 power 6 newton mm, and uh, the tensile stress value is uh, given as 700 newton per mm square and uh, ultimate stress value given is 500 mega pascal so 500 newton per mm square we know that the allowable tensile stress uh, is nothing but uh, the given value divided by the factor of safety that is the permissible of working stress so 700 divided by uh, let me assume the factor of safety uh, as 6 since it is given in the question so 700 by 6 it is 116.7 newton per mm square similarly for the uh, the shear stress it is 500 by 6 uh, the factor of safety so the allowable shear stress will be equal to 83.3 newton per mm square so we need to find out what is the diameter of the shaft so first uh, according to, to the maximum shear stress theory the equivalent twisting moment tau e equal to square root of uh, m square plus uh, uh, square, t square. So m is nothing but 3 to 10 power 6 whole square plus uh, t is nothing but 10 to 10 power 6 whole square. So I will be getting uh, uh, the twisting moment is nothing but 10.44 into 10 power 6 newton mm. We also know that the equivalent twisting moment t uh, which is equal to pi by 16 uh, tau into d cube. So I will be equating this 10.44 into 10 power 6 is equal to pi by 16 into 83.3 into d cube. So from this I can able to find out the diameter value. After the simplification I will be getting the diameter as 86 mm. And we have one more equation that is according to maximum normal stress theory. Uh, by using this equivalent bending moment Me is equal to 1 by 2 into m plus square root of m square plus t square. And uh, that can be written as 1 by 2 into m plus t. So I know what is m and what is the, uh, t which is directly given in the question. By substituting uh, uh, m and t value that is 1 by 2 into 3 into 10 power 6 plus 10.44 into 10 power 6 that is 6.72 into 10 power 6 newton mm I will be getting up. and uh, that is uh, equivalent uh, bending moment we can equate it um, that is pi by 32 into sigma b into d cube so 6.72 into 10 power 6 which is equal to pi by 32 into uh, bending stress that is 116.7 into d cube so after the uh, uh, simplification I will be getting the diameter value as uh, um, 83.7 mm I will be uh, getting. So taking the larger of the two values, I will be assuming uh, the diameter value as uh, 86 mm and uh, if you want to uh, you know like round off the standard uh, diameter of the shaft value, we can go with the diameter value as 90 mm from the table uh, from the table 14.4. Uh, uh, Thank you.